You know, with the last CARS update to 2020.24, um, I noticed something very interesting. You know, my power tariff here turns off during peak time in the evening. So it turns off at five o'clock and then turns back on at nine o'clock or so. So I cannot charge the car during that time. So what I found is if the car is asleep and the power turns off, the car actually wakes up now. And then the car stays awake for a couple of minutes, like 15, 20 minutes, and then it falls asleep again. When the power comes back at nine o'clock, the car wakes up again. And this is something very new. And I complained about this at the beginning when I got the car new, because every time I plugged in the car when I came home from work, there was no power here. And the car could not sense how much power it can draw from the source. So the scheduled charging feature in the car. So this is the time you set in the car when you actually want to leave and the car makes sure it's fully charged. It needs to sense how much power it can draw from the outlet before it actually calculates the time to do that. And it could never do this because there was no power there. But now it seems like when the power is coming back, the car actually wakes up and does another test. And this is something new with the latest update. I've never noticed this before. And we can do the test actually. So the car is unlocked at the moment, but it's sleeping. I'm using this new feature inside the car coming with the latest update as well. So the car does not lock anymore when I'm at home, but it is asleep. And what I will do is, I will just pull the plug and then we can hear the car waking up. There you go. Now it's awake. And you can also see the light is now yeah, light blue and the charge port has also unlocked. So I can just pull the plug out without even pushing the button. So it unlocks the charge port and then wakes up the car. This is brand new. And we do the same test again now. Oh, it's not, hang on. And we leave, we leave the power off as it is right now and wait for half an hour until the car goes to sleep again. And then we just plug in the power and we will see exactly the same happens again. So I have now waited half an hour and we can see there's no Bluetooth light anymore. So the car is fully asleep, but again unlocked. I've got the cable plugged in, but no power. So then in the night when the power comes back, There we go. Car wakes up again. Screen turns on and it's ready to charge. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so next test. Next test will be to actually lock the car and see if it does the same. Okay, we just have to wait another half an hour until the car goes to sleep and then we test again. So this is the next test now. Um, we are plugged into power. The car is asleep and locked. And I'll unplug the power and see if the car wakes up. It does. There you go, car wakes up. But the difference is the charge port does not unlock which makes sense because usually you park the car somewhere so otherwise people could steal your cable. So the final test will be tomorrow morning or tonight actually. I programmed the car now to be ready charged to 70% by say 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then we will see if the car actually wakes up in the night and checks the power supply again. This was a big complaint from me uh, in regards to the charging, to the scheduled charging in the Tesla, because the car never wakes up in the night when the power comes back. 
Yeah, and um, I locked actually a ticket with Tesla and they come back to me and said, yeah, well, read the read the manual and charge the car accordingly. And there's nothing in the manual, and there's nothing in the manual which actually tells you what the car does, how it reacts, if you have a power loss in the night and the power comes back. Well, I linked these older videos all down below. So if you want to have a look what actually was going on, and I hope they have fixed it now with this software update. At the moment it looks like, but we will do the final test tonight. Okay. So depart at nine o'clock in the morning. That's fine. And we set the limit to 70%. All right. So unable to charge, charge is not powered. Okay, that's fine. So we can actually simulate that now. We close the car again and also lock it. Just want to do the full lock. There you go, it's locked now, but the cable is not plugged in. So I told the car to be ready charged until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. But usually it turns on the EVSE for a few seconds and measures how much power it can draw and then calculates the time when it actually needs to start charging in the night. But now it cannot do the calculation because there's no power. So we leave the car as it is at the moment and let it go to sleep again. And in half an hour time, we simulate the power comes back. And then we will see if the car wakes up and does the test actually afterwards. Shh. Car is sleeping. Yes, light is turned off. It's sleeping. Okay. I'm just plugging in the cable. And see if it starts a charging now so this is the scenario now i'm coming home i plug in the car but there's no power on the circuit because it's peak time so then later in the night the power comes back and the car did not check the power source so it did not start charging during the night if i have a schedule charging and i think this has changed now so we plug this in power yep could hear the relay. It's got a blue light. There's the click. And here we go. It turns on the charger just for a moment. And we just quickly check the app here and see what it says. Ready to depart, nine o'clock. All right, so it's now plugged in. They have changed this with the latest software update as well. If there's no power and the power comes back, the car wakes up and checks the power source. So this should be fixed now. Yeah, so this is the next morning. The car has charged from midnight again until three o'clock on uh, 10 amps, as always, as every day. Car is still plugged in and the car is sound asleep. This will be the next step. I've got my mobile phone here, Bluetooth is turned on. The car is not locked. So I turned on this feature, do not lock the car when it's at home. But um, we can see there's no Bluetooth flashing light, so the car is asleep. The charger is still turned on, but charge obviously has finished at 3 o'clock, as we just saw. So I will try again to unlock the charge cable, release it. Press the button. No, it's not working. Still not working. Even the car is unlocked, you cannot remove the cable if the car is asleep. Okay, let's wake up the car. Yeah, light comes on. There was the clack of the high voltage relays, charging complete it says. So what I will do now is, I will just, it's blue now, ah oh, yeah, start charging. Obviously I can remove the plug now because the, char uh, the car is awake, it's unlocked. So I can unlock the cable. So we start charging now. And I'll put the phone away. Okay, so this is the normal scenario. You are somewhere, you are charging. The car is either locked or unlocked. So then you come along and then you have to unlock the charge port to release it. You cannot release it by button. So I'll try this as well while charging. Press the button. And this works. Okay, so this works. Okay, plug it back in. Okay, start charging. We do this again. 
and now we are going to lock the car so it's fully locked and it's charging I've got the mobile phone with me obviously if I would be a stranger now I cannot unlock the car while it's locked if you park somewhere and you charge your car you cannot release the cable of course nobody can steal your cable or stop the charging or something nothing but now I've got the mobile phone in my pocket so the car is actually aware that I'm here and I'm just just pretending to approach the car coming from a shopping or something and the car is fully locked and I press the button now ah ha 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 it release it releases the cable now and unlocks the car at the same time so this is a new feature <laughs> Good. glad we found it finally you guys <laughs> so if you are somewhere not at home the car is locked and charging and you approach the car you can just press the button on the charger cable uh, release the charger cable the cable comes out the car unlocks for you and it's all good you need to have your mobile phone with you of course so strangers cannot do this only the owner with a mobile phone can do that but this is a new feature this did not work before so this is a great hidden undocumented feature in this 2020.24.6 for uh, this version here a great undocumented feature in this release well as you have seen in all these updates they are hidden and undocumented features so you need to watch unplug tv here on youtube well tesla does it as well otherwise they wouldn't have fixed it you know that's the third time they're fixing issues i have complained about in my videos so keep watching unplugged ev here on youtube and you stay up to date all right guys so far this video for today thanks as always for watching this is andy from unplugged ev australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon see you then guys bye bye